Hello and welcome to another episode of Brick Menace. Um, today I am bringing you my customized vulture. Um, call it customized because although I did use some of the instructions from the um, the regular vulture, uh, honestly, like to do these colors, I don't have the the pieces so. There, there's there's a lot of differences but the basic shape and everything are the same um, so we'll just start in the front uh, one of the first things I did was add some extra weapons on here I just like to have a lot of guns on my ships um, on the bottom here the ones that pivot I changed those so that they're a little more dangerous uh, a lot more firepower than just the chain guns that they had um, and while these these parts down here um, they still adjust um, I added extra cannons so that they can still look um, those are 360 degrees let me just lift this up so I can show you so this comes down still and you can still aim and then this can aim wherever it wants to go um change the cockpit some i've added a lot of design on the top and the sides and everything which you'll see as i turn this thing around so i have my character piloting i changed the cockpit a lot actually um, i just added some more like computer screens and stuff in there to help uh, control all of the weapons. Also extended the parts on the the wing here just a little bit, just by like one stud. Um, that mainly had to do with I didn't have the the piece that it needed, so that's why I altered it that way. So here's a view from the side. Um, all of this stuff still works, and then. From the back, um, one of the main things I did was I made it so this thing can um, endure space travel. Uh, all of my whatever battles, stuff like that, take place in outer space, so I had to be able to go out there and survive and thrive, of course. Um, this is just storage. I was thinking about hollowing this out. I ended up not doing it though. So, um, you can fit like I did make it a little bit steeper so you can fit um a little one of the trunks, one of the carrying cases inside. Um, I didn't know what else it would be used for. So, so if you're from the back, um, it has some more engines back here. It has some more guns back there. Um just to help defend itself when it's trying to get away and then I have um, ooh. and then I have um, okay hold on and then also added some extra lift um, on the bottom I mean it's really heavy so you know and you can see right here I didn't have these pieces I ended up keeping those on there but you can't see them anyway so it doesn't really matter too much so the back part still opens and I actually have this guy oh he just fell off it is still open so that people can get in and out of there and lock back here Let's see if I can get them out He's supposed to surprise you. That didn't work out so well. But that's fine. Um, I did change the interior just a little bit, but not by much, which I'll show you in a second. So, there's another side view for a second. Um, you can see what I did here and with the wings, the back wings. Um, and get a little bit of a close-up on these 
intakes over here. All of this stuff still works also. Alright, so on to the main feature. Um, I don't know if you guys remember I mentioned that, um, or maybe on Facebook, that I was trying to figure out a way to have the missiles come out. Um, normally the missiles are on the sides and when Mega Blocks built it, they just had the little plates, like pictures of it. Um, I wanted to add a little bit more playability, so what I did was this. Basically to use your missiles, um, you'll push this down and then they pop out. And then you can aim this um, up and down, but it doesn't swerve left or right. So you can just basically, there you go, off to the side. And then it can just go right back in. Um, I didn't want to sacrifice the inside. As you guys saw, you could still go in. Um, so the way it works is like this. You push this back. And you just simply lift that part up. And then you have your your inside. Um, right now I just have kind of like storage space in there. Just because um, my guy likes to travel alone. So it's kind of like his closet. He has his weapons, his cape, all of that stuff in there. But um, you can easily take this out. Take this out right here. Take the other one out. And then you can put your seats back in. And this goes all the way down. That way you can get inside. And you have just as much room in there as you did um, with the original. So one, two, three, four seats. Um, and you can fit, you could put another seat in the front here, uh, right behind the other chair. And you could easily fit five people back there, even more if you're standing up. So there's a lot of room, um, uh, a lot of things you can do with, with this thing. So, um, that is pretty much it. You just, you'll open this part back up and let me pull this over. You just hold it from the top and goes back in and that's it you, you don't see anything else there's no other issues um i really like this thing i, I really like the colors um are I, I definitely and most people are definitely not feeling that green that the uh original vulture had a lot of people really didn't like that color they thought it should be more metallic I'm not a fan of green to begin with, so that's why I, I made it my favorite colors, which is blue and um, black. I just added the silver just to make everything pop out. So. Yeah, other than that, um, please like and subscribe. Feel free to comment. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Uh, I put up probably a, co a couple customs already, um, and I'll probably put up a couple more. Um, so you guys let me know if you want me to continue doing customs or if you only want it to be um, basically when I get new sets which honestly is not uh, as often as I like but uh, I try to get what I can find what I can when I can so, so let me know what you think and once again thanks for watching.